and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this question, I'm going to show you how to solve this equation to determine if there will be one solution, no solution, or an identity as your solution. So here's your sample question. I hope you know immediately what to do as your first step. If you need a hint, think about distributive property. When you apply distributive property, you're going to distribute the 6 and you're going to get on the right side, 6 times 4 is 24, and 6 times negative y is minus 6y. What do you notice now? Something should be pretty obvious. I hope you notice that each expression on both sides of the equation are identical. It's exactly the same. So therefore, since the expressions on each side of the equation are the same, this equation is what we call an identity, which means all values of y will make the equation true. So for example, if I say my y value is 0 and I substitute it into my original problem, I'm going to get the equation 24 equals 24, which is true. If I continue to change out different values of y, I will still get a true equation or true statement. So out of these three solutions, it would be identity, and therefore it's correct. If you accidentally chose one solution or no solution, you would indicate wrong. Hope that was helpful.